Welcome to tonight's concert, the Spring 2021 performance of the South Jersey Youth Orchestra and Friends. When my family joined this orchestra in October 2015, we got to play with an amazing group of kids. The following year, I asked Amy, well, where is such and so, where is such and so, where is such and so? And she said, well, they've, they've aged out, they've graduated. And that seemed so far away to me at that time, you know, being that my own were very young, but now I have one of my own aging out and tonight is his last concert as a student, but he'll be back as an end friend, right, Will? Yes, I will. Uh, you better be. <laughs> we're gonna begin with the string orchestra playing a piece called The Barber of Seville. The Barber of Seville, or in Italian, Il Barbiere di Siviglia is a comic opera in two acts by Italian composer Joaquino Rossini. It was first performed under the title The Useless Precaution, and I'm not saying that in Italian, by the way. <laughs> performed at the Teatro Argentina in Rome on February 20th, 1816. The plot is based on an earlier work, Pierre Augustin Caron de Beaumarchais, 1775, Le Barbier de Séville. Rossini's opera remains one of the most frequently performed comic operas in the repertoire. I know the first time I heard this piece, though, it wasn't in the theater. I was sitting in front of my TV set sometime in 1970-something, watching that wascally wabbit attempt to dress the bald head of that world-famous hunter. You probably know him by the name of Elmer Fudd. He's probably still hunting for that rabbit. Enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
next piece is Fantasy on Simple Gift. The melody of this composition has its roots as a shaker hymn, believed to have been written in 1848. Aaron Copland later made this famous when he incorporated it into his score for Martha Graham's ballet, Appalachian Spring, first performed in 1944. Copeland later used it in 1950 in his first set of old American songs for voice and piano, which was later orchestrated. It has been delighting audiences ever since. What you will hear tonight is an arrangement by Robert Kerr in which he incorporates also the Scotch-Irish influence on American folk culture.
Charles Snyder has been a valuable violinist of the South Jersey Youth Orchestra and Friends for about six years now. He works very hard and is a great leader. Through the years, he has guided all of us younger kids, especially helping out with the tuning chaos at the beginning of rehearsals. He was one of the first people I met in this program, and we have been good friends ever since. Will and I met five years ago in the Sandy Summer Camp, where he always gladly participated and did a great job with the improv class. And very soon, he'll be studying computer science and music at Pensacola Christian College. Will, on behalf of everyone here, we will miss you, but we're equally excited to watch you begin this new journey. The South Jersey Youth Orchestra and Friends is a little community that we are so thankful you are a part of. It has been a pleasure being your stamp partner these past few years. Good luck in school, you're going to do awesome, and we're looking forward to you coming back as an and friend. during Beethoven's earliest creative period. The original manuscripts no longer exist, but what remains is a printed edition which was only published after Beethoven's death. Tonight you will hear the first movement of the first of the three duets, and we have exchanged the clarinet for violin, played by graduating student Will Snyder, my son, and the bassoon will be played by a remarkable young man, Eli Spadia. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sebastian Bach wrote for two violins. Composed around 1730 in the late Baroque era, this concerto remains one of Bach's most successful works. Tonight you will hear the first movement played by Will and his violin teacher, mentor, and most importantly, friend, our own beloved master violinist,